Alright, welcome to Mammy's Kitchen. We're continuing with the meal for the common man and making the common man's most favorite dessert. Chocolate chip cookies. I mean, who doesn't love that? Alright, so we're going to start by adding a whole freaking cup of butter. This is like Paula Deen times a quadrillion. Like, what? that is, that's disgusting. And here's this nifty looking whisk that I've never seen before in my life. And just go for it. I mean, just you're gonna leave, you're gonna want to leave it out, or either melt it to get it softened, and just make it a good consistency. Wow, this is interesting. All right, all right. Now we're gonna add two and a fourth cup of all all-purpose flour. There's one. There's two <laughs> and a quarter. This is about that's a half. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a quarter. I don't know how this is gonna work, but wow. Um is very solid. I must say so myself I'm getting it everywhere. Great. Okay, now we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda to make the cookies rise in case you didn't know what baking soda was for. And I guess if you don't have baking soda, I guess you can use Self rising flour, but I'm not really positive because I don't bake. Because it does this stuff, and I'm not into this. <laughs> I mean, that's just crazy. Alright, now we're gonna add 3 4 cup packed brown sugar, which, at least when I was discussing earlier, has a weird, clumpy, wet sand sugar texture. It's like the Savannah Beach right there in your little measuring cup. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and add a little, an <laughs> extra little club. <laughs> Alright. Look at that! Like, that's, that's crazy. Like, who wants to do this for fun? Nobody? <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna add a fourth a cup of white sugar, which is not clumpy, so it's a little bit better. That's about a four. Okay, I take that back. It is clumpy. Okay, there you go. I'm not gonna mix it yet because it's a pain in my butt. Alright, now here's a little twist on the original chocolate chip cookie. We're going put in a package of instant vanilla pudding. Yum. Mm. Doesn't look any different. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna add the eggs, which will hopefully make things easier on me mixing it up together. All right, there's one. I don't think we need this anymore. I'm just gonna stick it in there. There's two, and now I want to rinse off my hands real quick. All right, now we're gonna add two tablespoons of, or no, one teaspoon. Excuse me. <laughs> two tablespoons, I think, would make somebody cry if they had that vanilla. All right, one teaspoon of vanilla. Yum. It's amazing how long a little bit of vanilla goes. It's crazy. All right, now we're gonna add two cups of semi-sweet morsels. <laughs> I'm just guesstimating, because if you have a little bit extra, it's not gonna kill you. All right, now Elise is gonna go for it and mix it up. Woo go, 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 go. This is impossible. This is kind of ridiculous, guys. Um, Jesus. 
Here's my hands. <gasps> Good plan! Okay. She's going with it, going in it with her hands. That's always. If you can't mix it up, just go for it with your hands. It makes everything easier. Look at that. It's getting somewhat of a consistency that's normal. Yeah. Because before it was not. Alright, and this, this recipe makes 72 divided by 2, so it makes like, like 30, 36, 36? sure, <laughs> alright, <laughs> 36 cookies, look, wow, it actually does have a nice consistency, I want to take a little bite out of it, and see what it tastes like, yum, I love that raw egg. <laughs> All right, now <coughs> to make this a little bit shorter, I'm going to show you how to do it. Get a piece of cookie batter, bring it over to your pan, drop it on. They're called drop cookies for a reason. Stick it in the oven and cook it for 12 minutes. Even if they look a little undone, take them out and they'll be yummy and gooey and amazing. And common men will love it. Alright, cool. Talk to you later. Bye.